I want you to think about this. Sean Carter is responsible for enacting Hype Williams to put a Leo on a faulty plane to move her out the way as punishment for rejecting him. You already so know what it is. It's your boy laid back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, TikTok, you up to bet. Bah. It's your boy laid back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. We back with another one. Make sure you hit the like button. You no, know? but um, we got another TikTok joint, man. Hey, we got some declassified CIA type stuff. And we got some celebrity conspiracy theory stuff. Stick around. Do your own research. You know how we do around here. Do your own research. Also, I got a TikTok playlist. So if you enter this type of stuff, I got a full playlist. You can go binge watch and go on a trip because it's some trippy stuff in there. But let's go ahead and get into it, man. You make it to the end of this one. You a real one for real. Fire Squad was popping. Let's get it. It was wild that I didn't know how close my own wife was to the Clintons. That you were married to her? And well, I was married right. to her. How close was she to the Clintons? I mean, cell phone away, like, or hey, wow. tell Ye to say this away, or hey, go out and use your platform to push uh, the vaccination away. That's your wife, you ain't know? Kevin Hart may have been killed in 2019 and been replaced with a clone. Wait, what, bro? The story goes that in 2019, he got in a car wreck when he was in the car with two friends. Mm -hmm. He had this nice muscle car and it flipped over and the top half was crunched. Mm -hmm. He said, it's a resurrection. That's the best way for me to put it. I feel like the other version of myself died in that moment. Mm. And this new version was born to understand and do better. And then there's this interview where he literally says that he's a clone. How do you do it? I have a clone. I, 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 I was I was going to say that. There's two of you. Cats out the bag. Okay. <laughs> it's about a good three of me. Uh, you know, we broke it. They didn't want to release it yet. This is major news that I'm giving you. All right. I'm the first person to ever use it. I'm cloaked. I'm clean. I'm cloned. You think he's joking, though, is the question. Because that was a crazy accident. Super crazy. Now, this is all a conspiracy theory. I mean, if you just listen to his stand-up comedy routines throughout the years, like, they're a lot different than they used to be. That is definitely true, for sure. I mean, even in the in the Disney film, Pinocchio, it's unbelievable, the, the pub scene. He talks about yeah. bringing the boys to Pleasure Island, and then he starts whispering what happens to the boys and the fox freaks out. He's like, oh, but, but, and he goes, no, 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 no. They don't come back as boys. <laughs> what? what? Oh, coachman. What's your proposition? Well, how would you blokes like to make some real money? <laughs> well, and who do we have to, uh... No, no. Nothing like that. You see? I'm collecting stupid little boys. Stupid what? Little boys. You know, the disobedient ones what play or give them school. Oh, and I take them to Pleasure Island. Ah, uh, Pleasure Island. Pleasure Island? But the law, suppose they... No, no, there's no risk. They never come back as boys. <laughs> what is going on, man? What did Will Smith really mean to tell us? Y'all, we out here on vacation in the Bahamas, another beautiful day. Check it out, check it out. Boom. I want to talk to y'all for a minute about the power of perception. You see, there's a lot that goes in to being a hot social media content provider. 
For instance, y'all think I got time to go on vacation? No. I got social to do. Come on, man, this is blue screen. In fact, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I haven't looked like this good in years. I've been totally computer generated since like the 90s. You know what? This ain't even real blue screen. It's 2019, y'all. Nothing's real. Wow. His production team is crazy good. Celebrity skin suits. So you may think this is Emma Watson, but wait just a second and you'll see. It's actually Sofia Vergara. Crazy. A lot of people on the internet think that Tyler Perry is just Will Smith in a skin suit. If you look closely at Tyler Perry's eyes, it almost seems that there's a suit resting on the natural folds of his eye. Wow. And that's not how a normal eye would look. But what does he sound like? He was so happy to have that. It, it's very sentimental for me, and, and we do a lot of shooting down here. For people often accuse Byron of wearing a skin suit as he looks Byron different than before. The theory goes that some celebs have other people pretending to be them in public so they can stay safe, while others will wear the skin suits to completely take on a new identity. The craziest mm -hmm. part is that people believe that Michael Jackson faked his death and continued living his life as a man named Dave Dave. Oh, and, right and you know what, Larry? Huh? At that moment, we... We embrace to his Encino house. I think I was in that Encino. Follow for daily uploads. Ain't no way. That was Michael Jackson. You see, these entities know what time it is. Listen to your boy Pharrell tell you. Celebrities know that time is up. Um, the poles have shifted already, and oh. when the poles shift, everything in the matrix is just a new, new. It's a new color. It's a new taste, it's the new smells, a new feeling, and the rules change. Oh yeah, oh, all the rules ever changing. See, I showed in my live how all these celebrities are divorcing. You see, why is every celebrity couple breaking up? And they really need a, a relationships expert to tell you why? <laughs> that's because that's all part of the gimmick. That is all part of the matrix. Tell me, has a relationship expert ever came up to you and tell you why you and your ex aren't together? They know the jig is up, y'all. It's over. Follow, share, and like for more. Let's get this shift. Peace in. Mm. You're, You're mad about really Beyonce, about Grammys in but way, Eminem tried um, to tell you all years ago. You dragged the Grammys in the mud. And you talk about uh, you have a few Grammys, but you feel like you had to sell your soul to get them. Mm. And um, you didn't know if you wanted it for, for the recognition or the trophies, but yeah. there was the difference, you know, and that Grammys pretty much suck the blood of artists and nominate them, have them come to the shows. and Which the they do. Is they that do what? every fucking year. Yeah. And I, I, I got I'm just tired of seeing it. And for whatever reason, it's like they're always pitching this hint that you might win album of the year which is a used to be a big deal i don't think it's a big deal now mm -hmm. every year we 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 went it was i would be up for album of the year and then the winner is nor jones who and i i don't i'm not even trying to say anything bad about her music i just at that point i had never heard of her yeah and none of my friends did either you know what i'm saying so we like, okay whatever and then steely dan okay i know steely dan is I know Steely Dan back in the day, you know what I'm saying? But more than the Marshall Mathers OP impact, like, okay, fine. I watch 50, same shit. I'm fine if I lose to fucking Kanye or someone that I'm like, okay, I respect that. I know who that is. And Kanye has a huge following and he's made a massive impact on music. Fine, I'm good with that. But don't fucking get us all here to use your selling point for your fucking show and mm. stiff everybody every single fucking time. Vote. They give it to who, who they want to give it to. They give it uh, to their darlings, yeah. the fucking, oh, this got critical acclaim, but it sold two records. Like, I, it ain't about always what you sell. I get that, Vanilla Ice, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, but there comes a point where when an overwhelming something comes along that has this wave and impact on music and you give it to fucking, Lada fucking Dottie. Who? Lottie Dottie. <laughs> Eminem didn't like that. Let's see 
said the devil comes for you, right? And so you, I'll give you a hundred million dollars, but I want you to turn your back on God. Would you turn your back on God or would you take that hundred million? I'm good. You let me know in the comments. Um, Y'all want to be involved so get bad, him. but get nobody him. asked me about no damn gift. What's get good? Him. Get <laughs> <him>. <laughs> Hell so is that is there going to be a public registry? Because I'm going to be honest with you. Take the, the gift cards. On. Fuck everybody's presence. Take the gift cards. Take the gift cards. Take the gift cards. Yeah, because they... Oh, shaky. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. No, no, but it's good. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. You're going to be good. It's 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 it's called MK Ultra. This is what we've all been going through and we are all just waking up from. So, you can't blame the parents because it's a, it's a science experiment. They're just trying to do what they had to do to get out of poverty to make sure your little ass is straight. But at the same time, now they don't look like themselves anymore. Now they're free to do whatever the f they want and they have to see this out. Right? Yeah, that's what that's what this is. And and it's more like, you know, if you don't know where your is, you're smoking mm. this. If you don't know what's happened with your wife and where she is, you're doing that. You're doing this. If you don't know how to identify these demons, the eye colors and all this shit, you know, if you don't know He be wilding, yo. He be wilding. Though. So I'm no trained therapist, but what I want y'all to do is look in her eyes. This whole video, just look in her eyes. Humiliation tactic. <laughs> the fake laugh. Why she be always like almost naked though? Everywhere she goes, he got on a jacket and pants and she got on nothing. She hates him. What is up with this? Fear can't even ask a question. What y'all think about that relationship? That's, uh, Amanda Bynes used to have these piercings and now the talk of the town is that she's not really Amanda Bynes because there's no scars. So kind of way back when Amanda used to have two piercings on her cheeks and it's not like an ear piercing that's gonna close up. To basically get them out, you need a surgical procedure to take them out. Like a doctor wow. has to do it under surgery. And like the wow. piercing's super cute, but when you look at her video, she doesn't have any scars. And you think maybe her skin just healed naturally, but there are before and after photos. So this is someone who also had the same exact piercing. They got it stitched up. There's scar and then you can kind of see a little bit of the scar residue so basically exhibit a and then exhibit b i mean the scar is not there but you can kind of see it another good example is black china she had the same exact piercing and in this photo you can see where it like was so close up here's the piercing really and then you can see it right there right it. because the piercing goes all the way through the cheek it's like you can the scar is going to be worse than if you were to just take out an earring so with other people having this type of scar after having that piercing surgically removed people are saying amanda's not amanda because because she doesn't have a scar. In all of her videos, it just looks like a smooth cheek. And with Amanda's TikTok content, she just seems a little bit out of it. Like, here's one. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to make a post to let you guys know that I'm going to start wearing wigs now. I absolutely love this wig. Okay. And I just want to let you guys know that my hair was growing out so awkwardly that I absolutely okay? hated it. So I'm totally going to be wearing wigs now. I have another one that's uh, blonde and blue. It's super cute. Okay? And I'm going to get more. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. I think Amanda probably just has really nice skin so it healed well but everyone now is really talking about cloning and how celebrities have been cloned and it's just the talk of the town now cloning is definitely the talk of the town i don't know if you guys remember a few a few months ago when beyonce was hired to perform in dubai at that new uae building or whatever the new uh hotel that opened in dubai everyone was so excited they were so excited to see that oh beyonce's getting paid 30 million dollars for an hour to perform in the UA, uae right that that was like the big thing but my brain was like well 
who's able to pay her $30 million for an hour? So I did the research. I went and I found the real estate firm and the company, the CEO, the COO, and the contact information for the firm that paid her. So now I have those contacts. So it was basically the guy, he was a South African hedge fund owner and his dad was like a gazillionaire. So they have real estate in UAE, South Africa, and somewhere else over there. Really, really big tycoon. And they pay her $30 million for, for that hour. She got all the facts, 30 million. There's a theory that the whole takeoff music video was yeah. predictive foreshadowing. Which music video is this? Literally the day he died, the music video dropped. Uh, search up Quavo and takeoff music video. So this. in the first three seconds, but takeoff was like this. And Quavo was like, yo, yo, take, take. I had a crazy dream, fam. It was messy. Messy. Yo. Take. Take. Yo. Man, I just had a crazy ass dream, bro. About what? About some messy ass shit. Messy ass shit. It was messy, so predictive foreshadowing. What happened to Takeoff? Listen. Yeah, yeah. What? Takeoff died November 1. Yeah. If you go to one minute, and 11 seconds mm -hmm. how did he die on the floor due to uh, a dice game yeah at what at Ooh. one minute 11 seconds there's a scene where they're doing a no. gambling scene are you serious 111 oh, the same way that takeoff died no way look look look, 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 look that shit. Oh, there's no that way you can tell me that and that's, that's, during, that's during his verse that's during his verse <laughs> this shit is not a coincidence rp oh. takeoff but there's no way that this shit is like not wow. planned or a sacrifice. That's fun. Wow. And you know what? I'm gonna blow your mind again. Yeah. In one of the scenes, it literally has a contract. Yeah. And right beside it, it says contract Migos, mm -hmm. a gun right beside it. Ooh. There's too much. <laughs> There's too much, fam. Them dudes be on it too, Pause. I want you to think about this. Sean Carter is responsible for enacting Hype Williams to put a Leo on a faulty plane to move her out the way as punishment for rejecting him. Mm. And so he could level up Beyonce, who was struggling. Let's just say allegedly that happened. Now I want you to think about 106th and Park with Mary J. Blige. Mm. Free, who is a victim of Sean Carter. What? Yeah. Mary J. Blige, who was a victim of Sean Combs, are sitting there talking about the death of Aaliyah uh. amongst each other. Ooh. Think about that. You got a Diddy victim, you got a Jay-Z victim, and you got a superstar gone. They know what happened, and yet, they had to sit there and have that conversation like they didn't know who did it. Whoa. Allegedly. Yeah, because she was... That's crazy. So, are we all just going to act like they're not clones? I'm sorry. Look at the pictures. Both of them. Not just one of them. Both of them. There's something not right. That's them. That's not them. This cloning stuff is a big deal. When I first saw Lil Demon, Lil Wayne, when Lil I first Demon. saw him, when I first saw I'm talking about way back, Hot Boys, I'm talking about way back, way back, Juvenile, I'm talking about way that, that back then. When I first saw him and I heard him, and I first heard him, I, I, never, I didn't see him first, I heard him first, I, 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 I didn't see him, I heard him. Cause I heard them other cats and they couldn't really rap, but I, I heard him. Hmm. And I heard, I, I said, this is gonna be a terrible thing. I said, this boy's gifted. I said, this boy's gifted. He's a channeler. He, a what? So he has the ability to receive spirit supernatural. He's yielded more because what causes a person to yield more is trauma. Mm. Oh, boy. He takes up. Remember, I was talking, teaching y'all about MK Ultra. They showed how to create a person in like the Manchurian candidate. That's true stuff. They know how to create a person and make them into assassin or whatever they want them to be. They start when they're young and they traumatize them real early as a child. When a person is real traumatized as a child, I told you they develop another personality. They gotta have a way of escape. When a person does that, that's when they try to develop a way of escape. That's where spirits come in. The trauma causes them to yield. 
a person that will yield will yield more to a spirit and they'll be able to receive better signals that's why they know michael jackson was raped and molested and that's why he was a great channeler if these people are channelers y'all listen to what i'm saying hey do your own research so like some of the victims that they were doing it to would after they would have these long crazy sessions of, of manipulation and torture basically when they would come to the next point they were able like i'm sure people have seen in the movies where people walk up you see like the secret agent movies and you see the person go you know someone just randomly shows up to the main character wearing a trench coat and sunglasses and it's like the sky is blue and the chair sits still and it's like the activation code to make you lose your like you know to make you go away and the other you come out that sounds crazy. MK Ultra, which is the mind control program from the CIA. So you see a lot of elites uh, use MK Ultra to control celebrities and things of this nature, and it's proven to be true. So oh, yeah. if that can be true, where they run some mind control psyop operations on people, yeah, maybe you, everything else could be true as well. Those uh, humiliation rituals. Hundred percent, bro. Uh, bro, uh, John Cena in a dress. Yeah. when he's supposed to be the, the most jacked stud of the world who does that yeah who does that so yeah a hundred percent there's humiliation rituals and people are willing to sell themselves for a bag that is crazy stuff All kathy o'brien has had a very very hard life in terms of what she's gone through mk ultra survivor yes i know her she went through a lot she was victimized over and over again she is perceived as this crazy lady but she's not everything she's telling you and the world is true not only is it true but 90 percent of what really happened she doesn't even know about she doesn't remember it damaged her in such a way that unfortunately she doesn't know the whole story what forum did you meet her in I was brought in by TLS to try to help. They wanted her to remember more, to talk more, to bring more evidence and proof. But she is only capable of doing it under hypnosis. And what was the purpose of retrieving that information? I guess they wanted information about those corrupt individuals and do something about it. Those son of a bitch who did what they did to her are still alive and still breathing. Who are we talking about? High level ranking people at the level of the White House, presidents, mm. vice presidents, and so on. Abused her physically. In every way possible. What is this MK Ultra stuff? Let me know in the comments if you know. What is this MK Ultra stuff? My control. Uh -huh. I'm gonna play a recording of people chanting, that is embarrassing, four times. After the fourth time, write down what you hear. Okay. Interesting. Almost everyone here heard that is embarrassing. Yeah. Listen again and watch the screen. the same thing every single time what our eyes and ears take in electrical signals which our brains interpret based on our expectations mm. we don't see reality we see our reality oh we we get in deep we get in deep another crazy symptom of mk ultra is the fact that they don't want us talking about it Okay, they don't want us talking about it. They don't want us knowing about it. They have went to great lengths. Why do you think we can't, re we can't remember anything? They have went to great fucking lengths to make sure we don't. And so what I have found for me personally is that a lot of the times when I'm talking about it or especially when I'm uncovering things that help me to understand what the hell is going on with this and what went on, I will start getting attacked energetically attacked i will feel energetically things show up around me my back will start going crazy like all of these fucking symptoms because they don't want us to talk about it so then you can also you would also start noticing like let's say you're you're really on to something and you're doing so good and then all of a sudden 
you can't fucking remember what you were talking about. You can't remember what you were doing. Mm. Like, there is so much mind fuckery. It is insane, you guys. Mm. Like, literally insane. And you can feel like you're going insane. Another one of the symptoms that a lot of people are talking about is um, multiple personalities. Alternatives. I don't know what they call it. Multiple personalities. Um, So that's another symptom. Um, And for me, I I don't feel like, okay, so when, when I think about somebody with a split personality disorder or multiple personality disorder, I'm thinking of like back in the day in like the 90s or something when they used to talk about this and they made those people look really crazy. So yeah. I personally don't ever feel like I have different definitely do not have different like a whole nother alternative that comes out like let's just say like i don't know if this is what these people are talking about but let's just say all of a sudden my emily will come out and be like i'm a southern bale like no that's never happened to me but i think that that happens to some people they've got alternates or whatever you call it and you guys the people who have experienced this or know people you please comment in the comments because i don't know because that's that's not me now i do feel though like i could have a bunch of different personalities um but i sort of also feel like that's like normal um because i grew up with narcissistic abuse um childhood sexual abuse like all these other different things and so i got taught to be a people pleaser and you know, all that stuff. Mm. And so I feel like when my, like, it's just like my true self that's trying to come out. So I don't feel like I have that, but I know a lot of people have been mentioning it. So there are two more symptoms for you. Symptoms. So she do, don't, or she do have multiple personalities. When you open this, this movie right here is Jurassic Park, for instance. Okay. I'm just showing this to people who have never seen this. For the last 15 years that I have been using Sony Vegas and other editing software and have gone through downloading movies and using them in our own video production, 100% of the time it's either an MKV or an MP4. Occasionally you'll download a torrent that's an AVI, not very often. And this is what it will always look like. One video file right here, one audio file right here, always. Mm -hmm. That's been my experience. Now let me show you what happened when we downloaded and put uh, Sony put the uh, movie "Leave the World Behind" onto Sony Vegas. Here you go. Stunning, stunning. One what? video file, four audio files opened up, and what does that this mean? one, this fourth audio file, seems to be the weapon. This is a Low, uh, ELF, uh, low, low frequency uh, infrasonic wave right here. Wow. And um, so we, we are going to, let me put the camera back on again. So this is big news, just, just so people realize. In, in 15 years of video editing, I have never downloaded, and I'm speaking specifically a movie file, okay, a Hollywood movie from a torrent, downloading it in either MKV, MP4, occasionally AVI, 100% of the time, over a thousand movies I've done this with, you have video file, audio file, period. This is the very first time I've ever seen anything like this with the four files. Bonnie's going to go into now talking about the, the infrasonic sound waves. And what we found out about that. And the this sound like the stuff that they be talking about when they be changing the frequency and having different frequencies in music and different frequencies, obviously, in movies. To where you taking in stuff that you don't even hear, don't even know. Let's see what they're talking about. The fact that there's one here. We're, and the point is, we're going to go back after Bonnie gives you some information about what, what it is we're dealing with, how this is a weapon. Then we're going to go weapon. back. Uh, towards the end of the live stream here, and I'm going to hit specific places where this weapon was used against anybody who watches it. Okay, so we we found out that my trainer was a MK Ultra uh, Canadian 
uh, intelligence. He, was, uh, yeah. he worked in the defense research and uh, development uh, in the Canadian military, essentially working on psyops this in the guy? Canadian military. This is Harley Pasternak. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying is, look, they tried to medicate me. They, I was exhausted. They wrongly diagnosed me, and they, they, they. When I asked them how much lithium did you want to put me on exactly it took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed about the amount right Damn. and i refused to take this right you understand lithium. that if i had taken the medication i would not be here and it would have been woe is he was deeply troubled we miss mm. him we love his music though well they would have britney spears too i mean look at they would have michael jackson or, or worse yeah but so <laughs> look, I guess, I guess what... they've been after kanye though What's a conspiracy theory that you a thousand percent believe in? I'll go first. Man, I love the comments. I can't wait to see what y'all finna say about this. Part six. Here we go. Now, I'm not saying I believe in government mind control, but. What's up with this hat he got on? Ten for your hat. He sacrificed Bernie Mac for his fame. He sacrificed Kobe for his. Come on, man. Did you guys know there was a secret chamber here that no civilian is allowed access to? Mm. I wonder why. And if you ever see this in the sky, just pay attention to how you feel for the next few days. See them joints all the time now. It's crazy. Look at you today, 20 years later, and they still have no idea what you're about. Tell me in a sentence who you are. What in the world? Nobody. Who is this guy? I'm nobody. I'm a tramp, a bum, a hobo. I'm a boxcar and a jug of wine. And a straight racer if you get too close to me. I don't know who that dude is, but he's like, he's been through some stuff. The CIA wanted to take control of people's minds, and they realized it was a two-part process. First, you need to blast away the existing mind, and second, you need to find a way to insert a new mind into the resulting void. This is what's known as Project MK Ultra, the most sustained search in history for techniques of mind control. After World War II, the tension between the two emerging superpowers, the US and the then Soviet Union, was at an all-time high. The threat of nuclear war was hanging over everyone's head, and ultimately the end of civilization. Technological progress didn't stop at the atom bomb, and both sides were continuing to invent bigger and badder weapons. But what both sides knew, is that the most dangerous weapon was information. And the US became increasingly concerned that the Soviets had discovered a drug or technique that would allow them to control human minds. In response, the CIA began its own secret program to search for a mind control weapon they could use against their enemies. The experiments wow. were covertly funded at universities and research centers, as well as American prisons and detention centers in Japan, Germany, and the Philippines. And the subjects endured procedures, including electroshock and high doses of hallucinogens. Jeez. Going back to the two-part process of mind control, it said they were extremely successful at blasting away the existing mind, but they didn't get too far on replacing it. In the 1960s, Project MK Ultra was shut down, and due to its top secret nature, we will never know just how many people were affected by it. That is all for this of video, course. but as always, if this interested you and you want to see more like it, I'd really appreciate it if you click the plus. Thank you. They just be using people as guinea pigs, too. It's crazy. Marilyn Monroe is considered the original Hollywood mind control slave and possibly the most iconic recognizable sex symbol of all time. However, behind her photogenic smile was a fragile individual who was exploited and subjected to monarch mind control. She had a difficult and unstable youth, being abused as a child which made her a prime target for beta programming, a sexual slave form of mind control. Before becoming famous, Norma Jean went by the name Mona and worked as a stripper at a burlesque house in Los Angeles where she first came into contact with Anton LaVey, the founder of the Church of Satan. LaVey's oh. biography mentions having an affair with Monroe, but what he really meant was he became her handler and Monroe became his favorite beta sex kitten slave. The highest level of beta kitten slaves are used to serve as presidents. She was JFK's presidential model. Presidential models are given diamonds to signify their beta kitten status, hence diamonds are a girl's best friend. Her death, claimed to be by suicide from pill overdose, was at the young age of 36 and is one of the first mysterious celebrity deaths in popular culture. 
Jack Clemens, the first LAPD officer who investigated her death scene, has gone on record stating that he believes she was actually murdered. Strange events happened that night. Police were called more than an hour after Monroe was found dead. There were multiple pill bottles in her room, but no water. The time of death given by witnesses changed several times. Prime witness Eunice Murray left the country and was never questioned again. Are diamonds really a girl's best friend? Best friend. <laughs> stuff that go on behind the scenes terrifying things that our own government did to us in our past here we go starting in 1953 the cia illegally experimented on u.s and canadian citizens the project was called mk ultra or operation mind control the government recruited over 80 institutions and over 150 researchers to do their dirty work for them they were using biological and chemical agents on their participants. Crazy. But the worst of all was the LSD experiments. They would use prisoners, methyl patients, and even drug addicts for these experiments. This scene in Stranger Things is actually taken from the MK Ultra experiments, where one patient was given LSD for 174 days in a row. Whoa. Heroin, morphine, alcohol, marijuana were all used as well. They say that the experiments lasted all the way until 1973. Some people, like Ken Kesey, actually volunteered for this, which led to the electric Kool-Aid acid test in the 1960s with the... What the hell are the electric Kool-Aid acid test? What tests? do these accolades, you know, mean for you? It means, it means, it, it means like validation. There's people from the Grammys. These are people that pick and choose who deserve it or not. And they feel like I deserve it. So it's like, what's really, really good? What's popping? Who gonna say something? And I wouldn't be remiss if I didn't uh, notice that you do have a white rose. So carrying that tonight on the carpet, what does that mean to you? Well, that's what it means to me, right? Like, I'm, it's just to me, if it feels so crazy that now that it's in Hollywood, it's being talked about, when in the community where I'm from, in the field that I used to be in, there used to be so many girls that were dancers, there are bartenders, a lot of urban girls that see like, you know, hip hop, um, Music videos, they see uh, hip hop. Um, what they got to do with the flower? Magazines that there's a lot of big, bootylicious girls, and there's there's so many men out there, and there's so many people that claim to be the plug to get them there, and they always, like I feel like they always be on some like, oh, you wanna be in the cover of this magazine? You wanna get in this magazine? You wanna be in this music video? You wanna be the main girl? And whoop! Look, I have a penis. What they got to do with the flower? Or I don't see the connection. Just totally withdrawn, like vacant. What is this? MK Ultra Kids. So I'm gonna tell you what this is. These, most of these actors, right? Evan Peters. Any kind of entertainers, um, in the in the music industry, um, these actors. Most of their parents are prominent people. If you look them up, their parents are somebody with a lot of wealth. So these actors, Most these, of them. these bands, right? Like let's say the Strokes, they're they're the trust strokes. fund kids. Okay, they have all been MK Ultra programmed. They are there to basically do and and create help create propaganda for programming for us for a certain kind of agenda so when you see his vacant eyes I'd look at Julian Casablancas okay I hate to say that because I love the strokes and I love him but that's another perfect example they just kind of like their eyes they kind of look dead okay and this is because of the MK Ultra in that video that Diddy did when he was doing the apology, his eyes look kind of, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. For, uh, the programming that they've done on these poor kids. Look it up. Always look up to see who their parents are and you'll find out that there's somebody with money, some kind of foundation, they're prominent actors, um, they're within that industry or culture. That's what it is. So that look, let me just say that look is they've shown them something traumatic. They've gone through something traumatic, mm. right? It's like the innocence has been taken away from them mm. and that's how they 
program them. They they show them something wow. or they do something. A lot of it is sexual abuse that mm. they use on these children. And so when you get those vacant eyes, it's like the innocence has been taken, right? It's like you, you've gone through something horrible. Mm -hmm. And that's why you get that look. Because it's basically like... Uh, the light has been taken from them. Dang. Uh, it's very, very sad, but look up a lot of actors, look up a lot of bands. You'll, you'll see the, the same thing. A lot of these, um, prominent people, their, their kids are the ones within the, these industries. In case you weren't convinced that we live in a matrix, there are CIA documents that tell you how to, to contact people telepathically, heal parts of your body using your mind, and remember forgotten memories. And all of the instructions what? for these live in a document that was declassified in 2003 called the Gateway Intermediate Workbook. In the late 70s and early 80s, the CIA was super interested in studying the psychic abilities of the mind. This document is wild. Look at this. To reduce pain signals. I'll move so you can pause this to read it if you want to. But what is this? Repeat the number 55515. There are diagrams instructing you how to exhale stale used up energy out of your feet, how to perceive distant events and people, remote viewing. Again, I'll move so you can pause to read this if you want to. But the most interesting thing in all of this is that every single exercise starts with an affirmation. And the affirmation essentially states that we are more than our physical body, contrary to popular belief. Not only that, but the affirmation also asks non-physical entities for their protection. This document was part of the Gateway Experience. Wow. I put the link of that in my bio if you want to read the full document. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is there more to this or was this a waste of resources? And follow for more like this. I want to learn more about it. I don't know about you, but this is very interesting to me. If you know anything about this stuff, let me know. I'm definitely going to be doing more research on this type of stuff right here. Very interesting that this is a CIA document, though. But let's just get back into it. And so on and so forth, we have to reduce it. Download it. I'm going to look into that. I'm telling you. We both know the CIA has a ton of top secret documents. We'll probably never hear about most of them. But over the years, they have declassified some things. So regular people like you and me can read them. And this is one of them. This is just a really small portion of a really huge project. It teaches different relaxation exercises and explains how we can reach a different level of consciousness. It even mentions a return or an emergency return as if we're leaving our physical bodies. It teaches us how to remotely view and expand our awareness. It teaches clock exercises and also an exercise about how to build an energy balloon around yourself. I think most of us have heard about the military or the CIA secret way to fall asleep faster. That's mentioned here in these documents. There's honestly so many things you can deep dive into while reading these documents that teach you about energy, ways to pass energy through your body. There's many debates and controversies surrounding this, but I think we can all agree that the hippies are not as crazy as people made them out to be. If you had access to this knowledge, is this something you'd want to learn? For me, yes. I'm all into energy and stuff. Yes, so 55515 is a CIA code used to turn off the pain receptors um, whether it be physically, mentally, repeat it in your mind, say it out loud, meditate on it. But this code works for a wide range of things. And the codes that I have from the article that I shared are not necessarily CIA codes. These are just additional codes channeled through spirit that also works on a quantum level that's used for more specific things. That being said, anyone that's skeptical about quantum energetics or how spirituality and science are intertwined, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this declassified CIA document. The CIA document was made in the 70s. Um, it was released to the public in 2003, and it was used to train their personnel. It explains it right here. I can't read For those this. of you that have your doubts about meditation, manifestation, energy work, astral projection, um, remote viewing, this document has, I think, 20 some pages explaining all of that. Just take a look at the first page. This says, first affirmation, I am more than my physical body. Because I am more than physical matter, 
I can perceive that which is greater than the physical world. They talk about breathing exercises and visualization techniques. This is right up my alley, I can't even lie. Um, awareness expansion and so on. Free movement exercise to leave your physical body, to make desired pattern changes in your life. And they even draw visual representations. I ain't never heard of this. The government knows about this already. It's not hidden anymore and it hasn't been for years. It's just that nobody talks about it. The government even declassified that there are other dimensional beings out there. But people are so brainwashed that even when they put everything in front of our face and expose it, they still deny it. They can't wrap their mind around yeah. it or they just don't want to believe it. But I'll go ahead and try to link this document in the comments. If not, just search up CIA declassified documents. I told you I'm checking that out. I don't know about you. Well, 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 looky, 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 the gateway intermediate workbook. What's it all about? Let's see. Looky, looky, approved for release 2003 by the CI double-edged sword. Gateway intermediate book. Monroe Institute, huh? Of Applied Science. They've been knowing about this stuff for a long time. Who says affirmations don't work, right? I know they Who work says affirmations don't work? Look at this. At first affirmation, how to, how to get into, uh, well, actually out of your body. Say in your mind and say to yourself, I am more than my physical body. Because I am more than my physical matter, I can perceive that which is greater than my physical world. Therefore, in these exercises, I deeply desire to expand, to experience, to know, to understand, to control, to use such greater energies and energy systems as may be beneficial and constructive to me and those who follow me. Interesting. Wow. Also, during these exercises, I deeply desire to help the help and cooperation, the assistance, the understanding of those individuals whose wisdom, development, and experience is equal to or greater than my own. What? Are those your guides? Interesting. I ask their guidance uh -huh, and protection from any influence or any source that might provide me with less than my stated desires. You have to protect yourself. I'm assuming you're go talking about other entities, right? I now protect myself as may be needed from such influence and reject any wow. source that may restrain me from my stated desires. So all these spirit guide meditations and all these affirmations, right? It's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Huh? Interesting. I got a playlist of affirmations on my channel that I made back in 2020. I'm just going to give you a side note. If you into affirmations and want to change and rehabilitate and becoming greater, check out my playlist of daily affirmations and play that joint. Very, very powerful stuff. But let's get back to this. What's this second affirmation? I open this channel of communication only underlined to those whose knowledge, wisdom, development, and experience is equal or greater than my own. I restrict such contact and communication to constructive purpose and reject all other i open such channel only when i so consciously desire at all other times it will remain wow. closed interesting so you're telling me that if you do it wrong there's there's things out there negative positive there's entities out there you have to tell you have to specifically say hey i only want the highest good the other motherfuckers stay away bro i'm gonna keep reading this like follow share for more if you want the documents let me know hit me up leave a comment put uh documents and i'll send it to you somehow thanks this is what the universe looks like according to the central intelligence agency <laughs> that's complete bullshit and today i'm going to teach you all about the lies and where they ripped off the tutti frutti pseudoscience in the gateway experience document it doesn't come from where you think so many content creators are like a human centipede of bullshit. They just crap nonsense into one another's mouths and pass it on down the line without ever doing any primary research or fact-checking any of the shit that they proclaim to be true. Damn. The first lie is that the Gateway document is from the CIA. It's not. 
It was in their archive, in their library, that is sourced from many different sources. But this document specifically comes from the Army, from Army INSCOM, Army Intelligence, the Intelligence and Security Command, who was doing remote viewing testing. I feel for the poor son of a bitch who was tasked with writing this report, because he ran into something that a lot of us have run into in our professional careers. We're tasked with writing some bullshit report for our boss, and in his case, a commanding officer, to go out and put together information about something that you don't know a goddamn thing about, so you cludge it together just to get the fucker done. This document <laughs> is sourced from materials that will become very obvious just how hokey they really are once I show you them. So many people go on and on about the diagrams, about how this is the hologram of the mind, the universe is mind, and it's shaped like a torus. It's got a white hole and a black hole. We'll take a very good look at that little uh, illustration at the bottom there of the torus. Now, do these diagrams look familiar to you? They should, because this is the origin of what they put in the Gateway document. They come from a 1908 book called Occult Chemistry by the Theosophists, Annie Besant and C.W. Leadbeater. Oh, he's breaking it down. The whole premise of this book is how they were using spiritualist techniques and clairvoyance to try to view the atomic structure of the atom. The problem is this book was right widely proven to be a hoax, as Annie Besant was a student wow. years before they wrote this book, and she repeatedly failed her chemistry examination to get her bachelor's degree. As I understand it, she never did. Uh, what she did do is memorize old, outmoded models of what the molecules and atoms were supposed to look like, and then regurgitated them in this book. And then later on, it was proven that they used these old models in this book and claimed that they were accurate and factual, when in reality, all they were was made up. So uh, secretly taking this theosophy book and moving it forward and claiming it's something else in the Gateway Experience document doesn't exactly look good for the accuracy and the reliability. of. Now, if you'd like some actual science about the Gateway Experience, let me point you to the book with the eyes of the mind, an empirical analysis of out-of-body states by Glenn Gabbard and Dr. Stuart Twemlow. Okay. Dr. Twemlow worked intimately with Bob Monroe to create the Gateway Experience PSYOP, or I mean project, or I mean totally legitimate meditation program. This book is very interesting because it touches on the clinical aspects of out-of-body experiences. Namely, that when people have dissociative states, it feels like an out-of-body experience, and if you impact them and influence them, drive them to believe they're having an out-of-body state, or talking to an alien, or talking to an ascended master, or having a past life regression, they'll believe it. To anybody who's done one of these programs and you feel disattached and dissociated afterwards, and all the while the people that are around you are trying to talk to you about aliens and UFOs and what spirit guides they experienced, all that's doing is getting into your mind and pre-programming you to have those experiences in the future. And that's mm -hmm. a level of fuckery of Dolores Cannon proportions. <laughs> oh no! Hey, do your own research. Hey guys, so I am doing research for the PDF book and I've pulled all the CIA documents that I could. And I have, you know, the one about the gateway process here and I have been highlighting and I found something really interesting I want you to see. If you don't know about the PDF, you can go about two videos back. I talk about the PDF I'm writing. It's all about chakras, but I had to tell you about energy, light, how manifestations work, everything. So in the, P the, the document, the CIA document, it has problem solving and patterning. So problem solving is when you go to your higher self and you expand your consciousness, consciousness to interact with the universal hologram to obtain information required to solve the problem. This can be phys physics, mathematicians, anybody who needs to find something that they cannot find, I guess, on earth. But patterning, this is really interesting. So it talks about manifestations. And it says, in other words, the technique of patterning recognizes the fact that since consciousness is the source of all reality, our thoughts have the power to influence the development of reality in time space as yes. it applies to us. If those thoughts can be projected with adequate intensity, mm. right? That's important. But hear this. However, the more complicated the objective sought and the more radically it departs from our current reality, the more time the universal hologram will need to reorient our reality sphere to accommodate our desires okay gotcha. so that's just crazy monroe trainers caution against attempting to force the pace of this process 
because the individual could succeed in dislocating his existence in reality with drastic consequences. Mm. That shit crack. That shit crack. After what Buddy said, though, you know oh, that's true. Do you know the gifted and talented program conspiracy theory? You know, it's a, one of my favorite current conspiracy theories. And uh, admittedly, conspiracy theory. Mm. I don't necessarily believe it, but basically the idea, like uh, like the gay program, apparently, and I looked it up and it, there does seem to be some connection, was sort of funded by uh, the feds who, like, the, like, it was definitely somehow involved with the government. Basically, now where it goes into conspiracy land, the idea is... They wanted to find people, kids early on, who demonstrated certain traits that then they could hire to work in intelligence. Uh, and so it's a grooming program for intelligence, basically. And that. so all these, like, and again, I, I just love these things. I'm like, if they're real or not, it's still cool. I definitely heard about stuff like that before. What age did you learn that if you stay silent for seven days, the Quick story about what happened when I went on a 24 hour silent fast. The very first time I did it. The very. F Is there anybody out there that went on a silent fast? Let me know in the comments. I've never done that. But anyway, let's go. First time I did it, I was still practicing Christianity. And I decided to do it one day because I was reading the Bible and I just wanted to get closer to God. And I was prompted within my spirit to not listen to anything. So I turned everything off TV, radio, no social media. I was off from work that day. I did nothing but read the Bible all day. It was that day where I first heard the word Adam and I didn't hear it as Adam, A-D-A-M. I heard it as Adam, A-T-O-M. Mm. From that day on and even that night, I started Ooh. dreaming about the scriptures in the Bible um, because I have an app where you can listen to the Bible. And when I was listening to it, I started hearing the words differently. And that's when I realized that. Um, well, not in that exact moment, but I started to realize that I had clear audience. That was when my clear audience started when I fasted for 24 hours. Y'all let me know about that silent fast. Adam 95 percent of what I learned at CIA carries over to the civilian world. For example, when a person looks at a human being's face, the first place they look is the same part of the face as if they were reading a piece of paper. So in English, we start from the top left and we read left to right, top to bottom. So when an English speaking person interacts with another person, the first thing they look at isn't their eyes. It's the upper left from their point of view. The information they get is hair color, hair pattern, skin color. That's it. This is one of the reasons why somebody can look at you and then you ask them what color are my eyes i don't really remember it's the same scrolling behavior that you see on the internet hmm? um. funny how the cia admitted recently that remote viewing is real and no one cares maybe because no one knows the true research but in our hub we got it right here for you let's dive into it remote viewing of natural targets Stanford Research Institute. Presented at the Conference of Quantum Physics and Parapsychology in Switzerland in 1974. Experiments in which the subjects asked to describe remote site chosen by experimenters and unknown to the subject. What? Two main objectives is that you can obtain significant amounts of descriptive information about remote locations. And second, the physical distance separating the subject from the scene to be perceived does not greatly affect the accuracy of perception. Wow. These description closely matched the target. So he basically was able to successfully describe it while remote viewing. We can do it to some degree. Look at the CIA research on binaural beats. You can generate binaural beats in our app too. So you can try some remote viewing. Just sync up the same frequencies that the CIA uses. This stuff is crazy. For it's real. literally blowing my fucking mind. Vault.fbi.gov. You can see right there. Everything I read from here on out is verbatim. Our world situation is not hopeless by any means. Although the space people bluntly inform us that as a race, we are too lazy. Spiritually, we must become more potent if we are to hold this planet together against the efforts of the dark forces, which hope to blow it to bits. What? For now, some unpleasant news. This has been transmitted from Mars Sector 8 through George King in London. And they talked about George King earlier. He is a channel who speaks with the space people from Mars. So they're saying, this news has been transmitted from Mars Section 8 through George King in London. We have to begin paying off our karmic debts in the form of disease. 
which cannot be abated unless we discontinue the nuclear experiments. However, to help all of us through the coming period of epidemics, the space people will ha have placed four space stations in orbit around the Earth. They will, have, they will start magnetizing the Earth at midnight on July 21st. Through meditation, we can absorb these healing rays. The mm. Martians have clearly indicated that they are fed up with our depravity on this planet. Apparently, even space people can become impatient. That's the end of that section. This is the FBI. I'm just going to remind you that. It's fucking insane. I mean... As some of you may already know, the CIA has thousands of declassified documents that anybody can just get online and read. And these are not weak reports. These reports were so crazy to me that I had to stop and make sure I was actually on the CIA website and not looking up creepypastas. Wow. Now, there are well-documented reports of UFO sightings, alien sightings, and even alien abduction. But their declassified reports on paranormal things and superhuman abilities are just as crazy, if not crazier. Mm. For example, in one of these unclassified documents, it talks about how they had to investigate a man who was able to heal people by just touching them. What was stranger wow. than the claim of this man being able to do this was that they had a scientific explanation explaining how this man was able to do this. What? Basically saying that there's an electromagnetic field around each human being that's able to be controlled through emotion. If you guys want me to talk about more declassified documents, leave wow. a like and let me know in the comments. All right, so that was another TikTok conspiracy theory video. A hey, that CIA declassified stuff and the MK Ultra stuff was crazy. That stuff was crazy. Energy manifestation and then debunking. Like I always say, do your own research, man. Do your own research. But a hey, you made it to the end of this one. You a real one for real, for sure. Also, I got a TikTok playlist, man. Go check it out, man. Go, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy yourself. Prepare to be. Till next time, man. Self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you when you know it.